Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray. Just woke up and his beer is disheveled. Garage. Uh, today's video we are taking out the mass airflow sensor because we don't need that bitch anymore. So I'm just going to unplug it, put a bag over this, tape it up, and just squirrel away somewhere. And we are also going to get a pipe to replace this. And we are also going to take out this air intake temp sensor out and we're going to relocate it and find something to plug that hole with. Just like I plug your mom's holes. So let me get my handy dandy screwdriver and start disassembling this mass airflow sensor. If you guys ever had your washing machine break down and cost you close to a thousand dollars to replace it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you had your air conditioning go out at the same time, smash that subscribe button, please. <laughs> All right, first things first, you're gonna disconnect this. Get out of there, oh, bitch. And then we're just gonna take this filter off and just let it chill inside. Here, just gonna line this not good. There we go, okay. So you stay there, get out of the way. And we're gonna take you off because we no longer need you. There we go. Now, yesterday I had to fight this thing off, which was very annoying. Struggle is real. So I got this thing tuned yesterday. He basically deleted this. And as you see the obstruction that's in here, this little webbing, that is going to be no more. So we could eat this thing, throw in the garbage, save it for a future project, which is what I'm going to do. Take this off, throw it to the side. And we're also gonna take this off because I need something to measure the pipe with, so I'm bringing this to whatever hardware store I find to be most convenient to utilize us. Get off there. Yeah, hey. Right. So I should be able to bring this to Home Depot, find a pipe that fits in here. You can take a measurement, do what you want, but I'm just going to bring this thing with me so I know it fits. And hopefully we have no issues. So I'm going to run to the hardware store or whatever and try and find a pipe to fit this. I'm going to go with plastic because obviously metal can, uh, traps heat a lot easier. But if I can't find anything plastic, then I'm going to have to go metal, which is no big deal. And let's get the show rolling. All right, guys, just left Home Depot. I found some three inch plumbing pipe. Seems to work fine. I'm not thrilled about the plumbing pipe, but and I could cut it, and if I mess up, I have two more feet to mess with. But I'm gonna go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto, whatever one I decide to stop at, and see if I can find something a little better. If not, then we're living with this. And also I need to find some plugs because I got a plug where the air intake temp sensor is on the K&N intake because we are relocating that temp sensor, so. I'll get back to you as soon as I get done doing that. Hey guys, just left advanced. Uh, this is about the only plug I found. If you want to look it up, it is a... So right there, I don't know if it's too blurry. But that's what I ended up getting. So hopefully that works to plug the prior location of the air intake temp sensor. The new one's going to get drilled into here. And this is going to be our new mass airflow sensor. All right, let me run home and uh, I'll start getting this knocked out. All righty. Uh, I'm going to remove the intake because to get to this fitting and this gasket, uh, I'm going to need to take it out because I don't want to damage anything here. So I'm just going to remove the intake real quick. And then I'm going to start measuring and cutting that pipe. So we can make our little extension drill and do what we got to do to make this work. All right, I got the temp sensor out along with the O-ring or the grommet that belongs in here. So let's see if I can show this on camera. So there's our hole. This is me, that's your mom. Boop, boop. And I'm gonna see if this little thing fits. I may have to drill this out a little bit, but that would be okay, which actually it looks like it's going pretty good actually. This might actually work. Get in there. Get in there. 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 Holy shit, that actually worked. All right, cool. 
So I don't know if you can see in there. Let's turn it around this way. But you can see our little grommet cover is in there. That actually worked perfectly. It's a good start. We're going places, not college, but going somewhere. I got the mass airflow sensor, so I'm going to cut the pipe the same length as this, just so that we keep everything the same length and put our intake back in. So let me measure this up and get chopping. All right, guys, I traced out where I'm going to cut, and I just put an X in the middle because I'm going to use a step bit. First, I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then use a step bit to open this up. And then get this little grommet put in here. I'm going to put it in before I cut just so I'm not fumbling with a small little piece. That's the way I'm doing it. You do it your way. So I'm going to go outside, drill this out, and hopefully we will have success. All right, guys, this stuff's a little thicker than it needs to be, but we're gonna make it work. So let me get a screwdriver, try and get inside of here and pop this out a little bit. All right, guys, made my cut. Now I could get the screwdriver into uh, probably the rest of that down. So that looks like it's in. I'm gonna try and just really press it in. The screwdriver. All right, that should work. We're in. So I'm just going to take a file, I'm going to clean up this end that I cut because it's pretty nasty. And then I'm going to rinse it off in the sink because there's some junk in here that I'm just going to try and get out. Alright guys, I cleaned off our little pipe. I'm going to stick the sensor back in. And I'm ideally going to have it facing like this way, like downward. Just keep it away from all the heat. Because there's a heat shield here, there's a little water line here, but we'll do what we can. And then we will wrap this up. So ideally, that to be there, that's going to go on there. Let's shove our little air temp sensor in, see if it even fits. I think we've got one more level to go. I think it's got to be flush. Yeah, let's get that flush. Do a little spin and push. There we go. We're in. So we got our sensor in. It's protruding out the bottom, which is good. And then if this wants to go like that, we kind of want it facing that way. So pre-position that. And then now we could put all this crap back on. Get you up a little bit more. So there we go. Plug this little clippy guy in. Shit out of it, so don't come off. Okay, doesn't look half bad. Do a little tug test, make sure that won't come off, which doesn't seem like it wants to. That's not sitting on anything. All right, that's snugged up. This thing's pretty rigid, it shouldn't hit anything. We're not hitting this coolant line. And then I'm just gonna put a little Ziploc bag over, over the mass airflow sensor plug and tape it up and just let it hang. All right, guys, we are buttoned up. Don't look half bad. We'll see how this plug holds up. But we're going to fire it up because yesterday, after I got home from the tune, thing ran great all the way home. And then it sat in the driveway for a few hours, and then I took the girl out for a ride. But when I started it up, it started, like, sputtering and, like, stalling out. I don't know if it was because of the obstruction in here. It doesn't seem like much, but it could have been. So I'm going to fire it up, let it run for a minute. If it starts right up and runs and without sputtering, then we know we did something. And if it doesn't, then we got to figure something out. So the tuner said that if there's any issue with the tune, just bring it back. They will take care of it for free. But, I mean, the thing ran flawlessly yesterday for the most part. It didn't stall out at all. Even when I started it up to drive down there, it didn't. So we will uh, we'll fire this bad boy up and see what we got.
Yeah, that's what started happening yesterday. So, try it again. I'll crack open the throttle body a little bit. See if that helps. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to start the air or fuel, but we're going to find out. I just cracked open the throttle body. Let's give it a try. All right, seems much happier there. Just dialed the throttle body a little bit, opened it up a little bit more. Seems like it was starving for air. It's definitely not a fuel issue. I smell fuel in here, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this thing to work tomorrow so I could start it up in the morning, wake the neighbors up at around 6 a.m. and make them nice and happy. Give it a run up the highway and back and forth and uh, get it to and from work and uh, we'll see how it plays out. So I will see you suckers tomorrow or five seconds from now. All right guys, it's been about a week and the car's been running fine. I've been taking it to work. I took it to work for two days, booping around town, going to the gym, went food shopping once. Well, just stopped to the grocery store. But everything seems to be running fine. So I just put a little heat wrap around here. I was gonna wrap some of this. I may still put a little wrap here just to keep heat off the intake, but we'll play that by ear. Nothing pressing, but everything else is running fine on the engine. There's no leaks, there's no check engine lights, no nothing. So we are in good shape on that front. Well, that about does it for this video. Got my stupid washing machine coming in two days, so I need that. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe. You guys know the deal, leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hmm.